Oh, y'all can't even see me. Hi everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. So I know that this is a change of setting, but today I'm actually going to be behind the camera because I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection. Yeah, let's just get right into it. I decided to film this makeup collection because I personally love watching makeup collection videos, especially small makeup collection videos, only because not everyone has gigantic glam rooms. I feel like my collection is pretty minimal compared to like what you usually would see on YouTube. I'm actually gonna start off with my eyeshadows first. I only have three. So this first one, y'all, is actually from Wish. This is kind of embarrassing, but this is an eyeshadow palette from Wish. I was honestly taking a chance with this because honestly, like anything could happen to my eyes, but I still use it here and there. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. These are the colors. They're really like fall colors. I do like the metallics in this. So I'm gonna show you guys like this gold. This, like, look at that. From Wish. Come on now. But yeah, here's just another look at the eyeshadows. The next eyeshadow palette that I have, which is pretty beat up, it's the BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow Plus Blush Palette. And I actually had gotten this for my birthday so that I could use it for my party. And I was more gravitated towards the blushes because I'm going to show you guys later, but I actually only have like three actual blush products. The palette actually comes with a variety of blushes as well as eyeshadows. So it's really convenient. So I backed up the camera a little bit because I just felt like it was a little too close. So the next palette is the James Charles palette which a lot of people already know what this looks like i feel like this is my oldest palette that i have and this was actually like my first big um makeup purchase so yeah so i actually store my makeup in two different things so i have this acrylic container that i had got from amazon and it mainly has the main makeup that i would usually use and then i have this makeup bag from victoria's secret she got it as a christmas gift from my aunt sonia i keep just the rest of my makeup in here so we're gonna just go over the container first and then we're gonna go into the makeup bag all right so we're just gonna get the front out of the way so i have five of these morphe lip glosses slash liquid lipsticks and i got this as a christmas gift from my sister jaylene they were actually sits but i actually had finished the other one it was a lip gloss i'm gonna show you guys like a swatch of what one of them looks like so this is pixie and i think this one is a lip gloss yeah this is the lip gloss one so i'm gonna just show you guys like a swatch of one of the lip glosses from the morphe collection and it's just so pretty. They're super pigmented. And then next up, I have two of the Knit Butter Glosses. Um, these are the only ones that I own. So the first one that I have is Fortune Cookie. And I have used this a couple of times in my videos. And the next one that I have is Paraline. So next up, I have two e.l.f. lip products. One of them is a lip plumping gloss. And the other one is a liquid matte lipstick. This one is in the shade Peach Bellini. And this is in the shade coffee next up i have my alta juice infused lip oil y'all as you can see this product is well loved i love this to just hydrate my lips like before i do my makeup or just to use as a lip gloss and then here i have a variety of products i mainly have like lip liners so i have this mac lip liner in chestnut this isn't a lip liner but i use it as a lip liner because it's too light for my brows and then i have this random lip liner from the beauty supply store and I have this Dior mascara. I actually had got this from a sample at Sephora. I've only like bought two mascaras in my entire life. Like most of the mascaras that I actually own and use are from samples. And then the last thing in here is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Um, this is the only eyebrow product that I use. All right, so moving back, I have my beauty blender. This is actually the only beauty blender that I have. I have to wash it and I definitely have to get some more. I have my Fenty Beauty bronzer. It's in the shade Coco Naughty and this is what it looks like. So like I mentioned before, I only have three blushes. So this first one is from Shop Say. 
and this is what it looks like so the next blush that i have i actually got from beautycon in my hauler bag and lastly which was actually a recent purchase i got this nyx sweet cheeks blush and it's in the shade fig I just wanted to try out like new blushes and different colors. So in the next section, I have two highlighters, which are the only highlighting products that I own. So one of them is the AOA Studio Baked Highlighter. And I also got this from Shop Masse. Shop Masse sells makeup for $1. And it's a great website if you want to get makeup on a budget. So I'm going to show you guys a swatch of this highlighter. This is actually my favorite highlighter. I'm always using it. Just a swatch of what the highlighter looks like. I'm bad at swatches but it just gives my face like a nice glowy look i'm about to go take off this lip gloss swatch from my hand because it's kind of bothering me the next highlighting product that i have is the fenty beauty highlighter in hustla baby it's actually the sample size one and it came with the fenty gloss which is actually in my makeup bag i used to be obsessed with this highlighter this is actually my second purchase of it the first one my little sister dropped and I was actually close to hitting pan on the last one. So that just goes to show, whoa, how obsessed I was with it. Such a pretty highlighter and it gives your face a really, really nice glow. I actually only own two setting sprays and this is one of them. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I really do enjoy using this and I feel like it gives my makeup a nice hold. So the next product that I have, which is very well loved, is the Essence bronzing powder palette so i actually use all of the colors in this palette i use this one to set my concealer and then i use these two to bring the color back into my face and for this one i use it for bronzing and contouring so on this section i basically have my foundations and concealers the first one is my fenty beauty foundation as you can see i don't really use it like that so i had actually bought this at the sephora store and i had a worker help me pick my shade and I feel like it wasn't the right shade for me. I feel like when I use this, it kind of oxidizes to a color that's not really my skin shade. But maybe I'll use this like in a few videos to try to use it up because it was pretty expensive. So the next foundation that I have is the Maybelline Fit Me matte foundation and i absolutely love this foundation i feel like it makes my face look so good the third foundation i have is the nits born to glow foundation this is actually a recent purchase and i have been loving this so far so the next three things are concealers the first one is the elf 16 hour camel concealer I absolutely love this concealer the second concealer that i have is the Too faced born this way concealer and lastly i have this maybelline concealer i don't really use it because it honestly like really isn't my shade but sometimes i do use it to sculpt my eyebrows and lastly over here i just have a variety of brushes i have some real technique brushes that came in like one of those value packs and then i have these brushes that i want in a giveaway and in this section i also keep a few eyeshadow brushes So next up, we're gonna move on to my makeup bag. And like I said, I just keep a variety of makeup in here. So this bag has three sections. We're gonna go into the bigger one first, just to get it over with. So the first thing in here is the True Complexion Contour Palette, and it has the shades medium to dark. So unfortunately, the contour in this palette cracked and spilled out. I use this one to set my concealer sometimes, and then obviously I use this one to highlight. Next, I have a pair of lashes in here. They're looking kind of crusty. I have another pack of lashes. I don't even know where this one went. I think I cut it too short, and then I just threw it out. And these are my last pack of lashes. I actually got them when I had bought a wig from Love Me Hair, and I haven't used them yet. So this is what the inside is looking like so far. Next up, I have this BB cream from Black Radiance. I actually had bought this on my vacation to Panama. So it is a dark shade. It's mainly for when I get tan in the summer and don't really want to put foundation or concealer on my face. Next up, I have three of my clear lip glosses. I actually have one more and it's similar to this one, but it's in my work bag. I got the first two from the beauty supply store and then this one is from Victoria's Secret. Um, like I had mentioned when I showed the Fenty highlight, it came with this mini Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Next up, I have my lip gloss from Vocal Cosmetics. So these are the last three lip glosses that were in the bag. So the first one is from Butsum and it's actually a pumping gloss. I didn't know this when I bought it and I don't really like the tingly feeling that 
that comes with it so I use it here and there but I'm still trying to use it up just to get rid of it but I don't think I'll be buying any more Buxom lip glosses. So next I have this MAC lip gloss in Oyster Girl. Y'all this is so shiny. I actually had gotten this recommendation from Aaliyah J and I usually just use this like on the center of my lips to add some highlight and shine to my lips. And this is actually one of my favorite lip glosses. I love the pigment on this one. This is the Revlon lip gloss in Supernatural. And it just gives my lips a uh, your lips but better look. So these are the rest of the lip products that I have in there. Um, they're pretty random. It's like a deep pink shade. This one is a liquid lipstick. I had got it from Beautycon. I love this pink liquid lipstick. It's from L'Oreal. It just gives my lips like the nicest baby pink look and I like to top it off with a lip gloss. I had gotten this lipstick from Wish and yeah, I don't really use it like that. I have this lip liner that I hope to use one day. I'm gonna do like a nice purple glam look and like try to be bold with my makeup look. And then I have a matte lipstick that I got from the beauty supply store. And lastly, I got this Revlon matte lipstick that I got from Beautycon. So I got these three lipsticks from Pat McGrath. They actually came in like a trio bundle at Sephora. And I honestly haven't used them yet. I don't really wear lipstick like that. But I hope to one day. One of them is like hot pink. One of them is red. And the other is like an orangey shade. I'm going to just swatch the hot pink. These lipsticks are very pigmented as you can see. I really wish that I had places to wear lipstick to. But I honestly don't. So this is the red one and it's a blue red. It's supposed to make your teeth look super white. These lipsticks like really, really make a statement. So these are the three lipsticks and as you can see, they're very bold. They really make a statement. I hope I find a place to wear them too because as of right now, it's not looking like I'm about to use them. So this lipstick is from MAC and I actually got it as a birthday gift. I used it in the 20 things I've learned at 20 video. And then I have this lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade Rum Punch. Again, this setting powder was only a dollar at Shop and Say. And it doesn't give me flashback. It's really nice. Um, it's in the shade Banana. Next, I had this BH Cosmetics Loose Foil Pigment. And I bought this to wear at my birthday party. And the color is super pretty. I love it so much. It's in the shade Brilliant. Alright, so in this corner right here, I have like some face stuff. These are two of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. They actually came in a trio, but I gave the concealer one to my mom. So this first one is the highlighting one, and it's in the shade Rum. I don't really use these as often because I don't really like cream products on my face. But I do find myself using this highlighter in the summertime when it's just my bare face. And the second matchstick that I have is in Truffle, and it's supposed to be like the contour one. I do prefer powder contours over cream ones the first time I tried this I honestly took it off like a minute after having it on my face because it just felt super heavy and disgusting I just hate wasting product so I want to find a way to like use this maybe I can use it to like spot correct or something but I would never use this as a foundation because the formula is just horrible I actually have three primers sorry about like how dirty these makeup products are the face powder had actually spilled inside my bag even when I scrub these with wipes it doesn't come off so just this regard that but the first primer I had actually got as a sample from Sephora and it's a matte primer from Makeup Forever. So the next primer I actually got as a sample as well. The good thing about this one is that it has SPF and this primer I had actually purchased um, it's from e.l.f. and it's a silicone primer. So this is the second setting spray that I have and it's the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. This one actually leaves my face feeling a bit oily so I would like balance it out with a matte setting spray but I do like the way this makes my face glow. So in this final section, I have eye products. So I have four of these eyeliners. The first one is from NYX. The second one is from Maybelline. And the third one is this random brand. I got it from Beautycon. And the last eye pencil that I have is a white one, and it's from Maybelline. Oh, I actually have one more eye pencil. Never used it before. I got it from Beautycon. So this is like a shimmery brown shade. And I do want to find a way to kind of like incorporate this in a makeup look. The next three things are liquid eyeliners i have one of them in white from nyx i want to do like a really fun look with this one day the next one is a random black eyeliner that i have it's actually the only black eyeliner that i have and the third one i got it from beautycon it's not a shade that i personally would have bought for myself but i feel like i could do a fun makeup look with this next up i have this eyelash curler i had got this nyx glitter primer to use with foil pigment eyeshadow that i had showed you guys from bh cosmetics 
The next thing is the second mascara that I own. This was actually a sample product. Like I said, I don't really buy mascaras because I don't find it necessary since I get them as samples anyways. This is the Tarte mascara and I feel like it works really well. Next, I have this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and if you watch my videos, you see that I usually use this as an eyeshadow primer. And finally, I have this Pixi eyeshadow duo thing and I got this from Beautycon. I don't really use it like that, but I did use this on my sister when I did her makeup for her birthday. And these shades aren't bad, actually. Oh yeah, guys, that was my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of me. And comment down below. Hmm. Comment down below the time that you're watching this video. We're going to switch it up today. Just because I'm nosy and I'm curious to see what time you guys are watching me. I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Peace out, y'all. 